Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this video I will show you how you can create uh, creepy visuals like uh, these ones here. We are mainly using the complex OP made by Function Store. Uh, thanks for this uh, amazing component. Link is in the description. And yeah, we, we will also use some feedback and some coloring effects to uh, make it look very pretty. So let's dive right into it. First I will give you a little overview about uh, the network, it's pretty simple. So here we just have our source content, yeah, it can be anything, uh, you can use a particle system or just a checkerboard, a rectangle or even some uh, Mandelbrot uh, fractals, yeah, whatever you want. And just connect it to a switch so we can yeah, always uh, choose our input. After that we we we'll work on our source content a little bit. Um, yeah, nothing too complicated. Uh, so in the end, the checkerboard will look like this before we plug it into this uh, complex OP component. So I will delete everything and start with you from scratch. So let me also close this here. We'll need it later and. Let's start uh, with the checker board from the uh, palette yeah, and set the divisions to 2 and 4 and also set your resolution. Uh, in my case I use Full HD but choose whatever you want. And we can also create a simple rectangle and size it up to 0.9 and then we just connect both of them to, uh, to a switch. Let me close the palette here, so we have some more screen space and now we just connect an edge. Uh, you can leave uh, everything uh, on default and we will also connect a ramp to it. For the ramp we create an LFO with an amplitude of 360 and a very low frequency of 0.0001. Reference the um, LFO data to the face of our ramp, um, change the type to radial, and also just choose uh, any color except black. To give our source content um, some more color, we can work with a noise top. Um, so, yeah, let's just create a noise and turn off monochrome. Set your desired resolution, in my case Full HD again. And um, yeah, we want to create um, some smooth noise. Yeah, there's many different ways, but uh, I just went for a period of two, harmonics of nine, harmonic gain zero, exponent something like 0 0.8, um, the amplitude maybe down to 0 0.25, and also the offset to like 0 0.3. To animate our noise top, we can um, use under translate the apps time dot seconds times 0.2 and for the rotation apps time dot seconds times 10. Now we just combine um, our noise and our ramp top uh, with the composite and set it to chroma difference. Let's use the feedback edge component from uh, the touch designer palette. Yeah, so you can find it under image filters and set the source gain to like 0.6. And actually to make our content even more bright, uh, let's just use a level top and set the brightness to four. Okay, our source content is ready. Um, now let's use the custom touch designer component, uh, complex OP made by Function Store. Link is in the description, um, which you can use to yeah, create really cool and trippy uh, visuals. Thanks Function Store for this amazing component. I think the output looks already really cool, but we can animate it even a little bit more. So let's create an LFO with a frequency of 0.5. 005 and an amplitude of 360 and you can reference um, this to the rota um, rotation parameter in the complex OP 
And for the post transition, we can use apps time dot seconds times 0 0.05. Let me just open quickly a separate plane here for our top viewer. So yeah, we actually see what's going on here. The complex op has um, a lot of integrated, uh, how to say, modes or uh, options. So yeah, you can just play around with it and um, try try them out. I think um, yeah, it really depends on the content, on, on your source content. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure you will find something that also pleases uh, your eyes. So I really like this Kakut here or Kakot. And well, there's also, of course, the option to use particle systems as an input. Yeah, um, for this example, if you um, use a rectangle or a manual by fractal can look like this and if you uh, blend between the inputs and a switch yeah, you can also get very interesting effects. Thanks for watching, if you have any questions drop a comment and hit that like button to support me. See you next time.